OMG a Leafs video and it's about darn time gonna be talking about the Leafs preseason so far as well as some of the suspensions the NHL has handed out recently and of course the infamous Wayne Simmons incident I'll start off by asking you who do you think's look good who do you think not so much who's impressed you and who has really disappointed you before I answer those questions let me just emphasize it's the preseason remember when Victor Stahlberg killed it in the preseason he was like second in NHL scoring and then he had like one point through eight games and they sent him down of course the preseason is important but it's not the be-all end-all. In terms of the group of forwards, the player that has most impressed me, I'm gonna say Nazem Kadri. And that might surprise some of you because you look at the preseason that Tyler Bozak and Colby Armstrong have been having, arguably the two best lead forwards as a matter of fact, and you wonder why I didn't pick them. And the reason is I've always really liked Colby Armstrong and all summer long I was saying, you know what, watch out for Tyler Bozak. You can say what you want about Tyler Bozak, oh he's not a number one center, he's not a number two, but the fact of the matter is he spent the first season and a half of his NHL career playing against the NHL's best. And then you reduce his duties to the third line where he's not playing quite as much, he's able to concentrate more on a smaller amount of time. And he's a young guy, it's not like he's getting worse. So Bozak's look great so far, Armstrong's look great so far, but anyway, Nazem Kadri, who I meant to talk about anyway. Now he's still been making a lot of very Nazem Kadri mistakes. Like, uh-oh, I'm heading into a one-on-three. I'ma go into it anyway. But that doesn't discourage me too much because he's so creative that every now and then you're like, oh shoot, he got through that. And Ron Wilson has mentioned he think Kadri is is getting better with his decision making. But what has stuck out to me by far, not only does he look faster, but he looks a million times more confident. And I'm not comparing Nazem Kadri and P.K. Subban because they're two completely, completely different players, but when you look at the essence of the player, I see some similarities. From junior, anyway. Because both players can be extremely pesty and just make the other team hate them. And they kind of thrive off that, how do you like me now thing. Other team's going, it's bad enough we got scored on, but it was that guy. And to play that style, the style that got Kadri picked seventh overall, he's got to be confident. He can't be scared. And he ain't scared. Disappointed, uh, I'm going to say Joe Colburn. Which some of you might find weird. You might want me to pick a veteran. And he scored a goal, but I was mostly just disappointed on the one he assisted on for Philly. Pass a puck! Sure, no problem. Problem. Damn wrong team. Sorry, James. And it's not that I expected Colburn to dominate. It's not that I even expect him to make the Leafs roster for this season. I think it's more likely he'll be a call-up. I just... I thought he'd look better. Again, it's the preseason. On defense, disappointment kinda, and I hate to say it, Mike comes here. Because here's the thing, there's such a log jam on the Leafs defense that some good defenders are gonna have to get sat this season. Like it's log jammed to the point where if Keith Ollie or Cody Franzen go like five games and they're all stinkers, they're gonna get sat. And after the season Commissarek had, it's like he's gotta come out with everything he's got. It just hasn't looked great so far. He's firing outlet passes like they gave him a rake. Loving, however, and sorry for not being original on this one, Jake Gardner. How amazing does that trade look? They traded Boschman for Gardner, Lupel, and a pick. Between that and the Toskala trade, at what point does Anaheim just look at Burke and go, we don't like you anymore. See his name come up in call display like, ah, I'm not gonna answer that. Boy, I sure hope I don't make a bad trade today. I'm not gonna answer it. And obviously, again, with the Leafs' defensive depth and all the one-way contracts, Gardner's not gonna make the team out of camp pretty much no matter how good he plays, but I think he will see time with a big club this season. If Lyles gets hurt, I wouldn't be shocked at all to see Gardner called up. And one other defenseman I want to mention, and yes, I know preseason, but it was great to see Yorai Miku score. Because he was a bit of a forgotten about Leafs defensive prospect. He just had a real bad season last year. But if he brings himself to the point where, hey, if someone gets hurt, he could be called up to the big club, then the Leafs have him, Gardner, uh, guys like Blacker, Holzer, Geisbers. Like, who'd I miss? And last but not least, in terms of the Leafs' preseason review, the goalies. Reimer was fortunate to be in net for the Leafs not scoring a single goal and not helping him out on defense at all. Gustafson has been adequate, but it's not like he's seen a whole lot of action. And Ben Scriven's another guy who hasn't exactly seen a whole lot of action, but he's only let in one goal so far. It was on kind of a weird tip. He had a great preseason last year, too. And I've been saying this for a while, and I'll just say it again. Hey, heaven forbid something happens to Reimer and Gustafson at the same time. But if that happens and Scrivens has to come into play, I think he'll be fine. I'm not saying he's the second coming of James Reimer. Right now we're hoping James Reimer will be the second coming of James Reimer, and I think he will be. But Ben Scrivens, remember the name. Good goalie and his new mask is pretty cool. Did I mention I'm in a magazine? This is Maple Leafs Annual by the Maple Street Press in stores now. I've seen it at Chapters, Shoppers, Drug Mart, Union Station, everywhere. When you get it, open it up to the table of contents. I'm on page 43. I did a rookie recap of the seasons that Keith Ollie and James Reimer had, and I had the privilege of interviewing the both of them for it. Sorry for the shameless plug, I'm just really proud of it. On to suspension, Shannon! And smash! Handing out a suspension for the rest of the preseason and one regular season game to Pierre-Luc Letourneau LeBlanc of the Calgary Flames and the rest of the preseason and five regular season games for Jody Shelley. And here's my thing about those suspensions. 
pretty harsh. What do you think Jody Shelley would have got last season for something like that? Two, maybe three games? But the thing about two game suspensions is, oh, nuts, I'm out for two games. Which for Jody Shelley, and not really exaggerating, that's like 10 minutes of ice time combined. This suspension makes you think, am I going to do this stupid and potentially harmful thing or not? And I don't think we've really seen what Shanahan can do because at the end of the day, it's Eternal LeBlonde and Shelly. Wait till it happens to a guy who scores 60, 70, 80 points a season. And also, how about those Shanahan videos? I'm a fan of them. In fact, I think he's pretty good at making videos. Actually, he might take my job. Take your job? Take my job! But seriously, big fan of the videos. And now, ending on a sad story, but I'm going to put a positive twist on it. The Wayne Simmons incident in London, Ontario. So what happens is Simmons is going to shoot in the shootout and some idiot in the stands throws a banana at him. And Wayne Simmons, being the awesome Scarborough native that he is, scored anyway. Despite the stupid racist toolbox that threw something at him. The fact that we're even talking about this stupid, stupid, stupid individual is kind of annoying. And it's also amazing to me that some people don't even have enough food to eat and this guy has enough food to be racist with. So I want to try to do something positive here. Ladies and gentlemen, may I draw your attention to the underbar of this video. This is Canada, we celebrate Thanksgiving kind of early and it's right around the corner. This douche felt compelled to waste food in a hateful and racist act. So what I'm gonna do is post a bunch of links in the underbar, please visit them, they're for your local food banks. The one at the top is in London, Ontario. Some are just non-perishable food items only, some I think like Second Harvest does perishable foods. Either way, click the links and donate. Let's try to create something positive out of this just stupidity and try to help some people who really need it. Rather than be hateful towards people, let's help. Doesn't matter if it's one food item or a hundred, you're helping. So thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of the preseason and please, please visit the links below.